Reporting from the newsroom. Reporting from the newsroom. Reporting from the newsroom in Champaign, I'm Liz Coe, and this is the Daily Illini vidcast for Friday, April 26, 2013. Conversations regarding Suburban Express are still continuing over social media. Last week, we reported that graduate student Jeremy Leval was taking a stand against the bus company, and as a result, he was hit with a lawsuit from Suburban Express on Monday. Leval is one of 81 students that have been charged with the lawsuit from over the weekend. Leval's father is an attorney and will be representing him, and you can find the full story on our website at dailyillini.com. Sexual harassment in the workplace has been increasing for anthropologists. Assistant Professor in Anthropology Catherine Clancy and joining researchers have conducted a sexual assault survey and out of 124 biological anthropologists, 60 percent reported being sexually harassed during their fieldwork experiences and 20 percent have reported being assaulted. Professor Clancy says researching issues like these will be beneficial to the university in thinking about gender and racial equality. Illinois soil was so wet that it stopped farmers from planting corn last week. According to a U.S. Department of Agricultural report, the wet soil is likely due to heavy rain in the past few weeks. The report says the rain statewide was over three inches than normal. Champaign farmer John Reifsteck says the high soil moisture was the reason for the delay in planting corn this year. If the excess rain continues, we can expect a dramatic decrease in soybeans and corn production this year. Illini Baseball's Justin Parr's record-breaking hitting streak was postponed Tuesday when the game against Eastern Illinois was canceled. Parr would have tied the school record for the longest hitting streak with a 25th hit. Parr is looking to continue his streak and tie the record when the Illini play Northwestern this weekend. The team will be playing here in Champaign at Illinois Field. The Illinois women's tennis team had a victorious first round in the Big Ten tournament. The team earned a 4-1 win against Michigan State Thursday morning, advancing them to the next round against Purdue. This is the sixth consecutive match that the Illini have earned double points, and the Illini will face off against the Boilermakers on Friday in Bloomington, Indiana. The Illinois women's softball team is seeing better days. After losing nine straight games, the team has won their last five games. Coach Terry Sullivan says the team is being aggressive and needs to keep playing in the moment. The Illini women's softball team has high hopes of keeping up their momentum against Michigan State this weekend. The team will be playing in East Lansing, Michigan. For today's weather, it's going to be mostly sunny with a high of 63, according to the National Weather Service. For the Daily Illini, I'm Liz Coe, and this has been the Daily Illini Vidcast.